the spot the banana. The Cardabas start right here. Here's the Cardaba. I guess I'm gonna have to do a little bushwhacking. I didn't get this far in my. Handed you the, the machete. <laughs> Is this also Cardaba to your right, left? Yeah. Is that the one with the bananas on it? This one right here. Nice. So do you usually cut them before and let them ripen in the at the at the house? Yeah, yeah, they split if you don't. I think I need to go ahead and chop mine down. It's, it's starting to get these little dark ends on them. Yeah, once they get full, you can let them hang on there. Some of them never will get ripe until you cut them. Okay, well, I need it to go ahead. Seems in. like they stay on there forever. Some that's what get ripe and then they split. That's what the Orinoco is doing. I meant to say Orinoco. Yeah, you gotta. Oh, look, there's a giant coconut down here. Yep. That's ice cream over there. I haven't even checked to see if there's any bananas in there. Ice cream's in the very back, or to your left, in front of that no, elderberry. It's the, it's the Namwon. A Namwon. Yeah. You have a big elderberry here. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Here you wanna. All right, let's get a little under view. I think I got the snakes chased back. <laughs> wow. That looks pretty full, right? Yeah. Yeah, we we'll yeah. harvest that one. I need to go ahead and do mine because mine's mine's really fat. It's got this uh, darker color on the ends. Does that mean it's just waiting for someone something to cut it? How how come some bananas ripen on the tree and some don't? Is it because the the varieties I, are different? I don't know why some of them don't, but you're supposed to pull them all off when they're about three quarters full because they split. Okay. And the split's not good. Like some people wait for us to see some yellow. Yeah. And I'll just think go ahead and do it. Idea. Get a little side view of you hitting it. <laughs> get a little side. Here you... Okay, okay. I got okay. I'll give you some room. Try to get a low view. Look at John go at it. Call it side swipe. Uh, See this technique? Catch it. Otherwise the banana is going to get beat up. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's my method. I've been I like it. Doing that since I was a kid. There you go, cuts like butter. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice sharp knife. I just sharpened it. I like your banana forest. <laughs> the pseudo stem is pretty big on this one, the cardaba. Yeah, cardaba's. It's got a thick <laughs> one. There goes John. And cardaba. The reason Cardaba is my favorite is, uh, oh look, there's another one. Another one over oh, there. Oh, I didn't even see that one. It's just leaning. It fell over. Wow, so that one needs to be harvested. So, um, you see how you can see on those two, and even that one beside you, all these big ones? Oh, look, now, there's another one forming. That one ain't gonna make it. It's too late. Yeah. Either. But, um, see those trunks uh, are from last year? Oops. You can see all the frozen leaves. But you see how Cardaba just pushes right through. Mm hmm But this one, for some reason, it just snapped. I guess it had a weak spot. It, it, they don't get enough sun over here. See how it's trying to grow out from under that tree? Yeah. That magnolia? Yep. And um, we did get some cold weather last year. But Cardaba always pushes out through the frozen top. Like Orinoco and even Namwa, but more yep. Orinoco were like... You have to help it and kind of fall over, and if you don't get up there and cut it, the, the leaves don't come up. It'll rot all the way, and then it rots the trunk. But this one, as soon as it starts growing leaves in the spring, like March or April, it pushes right through. This is and a that's nice why rack. I like the Cardaba. Look at them bananas on there. Isn't that nice? You need a knife? What did I do with your machine? That's right there. Oh, I'll have to chop. Be careful. 
Chop, chop, chop. Whoa. There we go. Look at that. And so you hang it up upside down, correct? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Nice. Yep, Jeff. Jeff said, quit hanging them the wrong way. My buddy Jeff, so I said, yeah, you're right. I've been hanging right. them upside down my whole life. Yeah, hold it. There we go. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's pretty full. Yeah, that's some nice. I could have. I could have. I guess I could have left it on there longer, but that's good. Enough. Yeah. I don't get back here in the jungle enough, do I? Right, you You're so busy, busy, man. Yeah, but we're all so busy. They got me working. It's been a busy pandemic. Yeah. I didn't get any time off. I had to go to work. Yep. Be glad to help you. That one will still ripen. It looked like even though it was bent over, it was still giving nutrition to the bananas. Well, it probably ha hadn't really been hanging there all that long. No. Probably to guess. Nice. Okay, hold that. Oh. Nice. Get all these moccasins out of the way. Yep. <laughs> There's a big old frog right there. He said, oh, my home. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a little ash tree trying to grow over here, too. Huh. These ash, like the great the Carolina ash, maybe, or I don't know what they're like. Yeah. They grow in the water. Just bushwhack more in the ice cream. Alright. No, I don't see any Paul Trump. You don't see none? You can see. Looks like these all froze back. At Cardava's a lot more cold time. And the ice cream got hit. And for a plantain type, I like the food from the Cordava. Very, they're very delicious. Nice sweet flavor. Oh. Now these these are all young. Yeah. So these are all ice cream. Yeah, they're the tall Namwa that everybody calls ice cream. What was the one you gave me, like this? The Blue Java. Oh, Blue Java. Yeah. This is a tall Namwa. Uh-huh. Over there, that next one is a half-high Namwa. I can't see so it. They, it they, they used to call that, they call that one Misi Luki, but apparently that's not what it is. It's just another type of Namwa. Oh, it's over there. We can probably go through them. Some mysore over here. Yeah, I've got my mysore growing. I need to get in here and mow some more. But that one, that's that the one they call Misi Luki. It's like a half high Namwa. Uh -huh. And then there's that dwarf Namwa, like Diane has. That's that's the, that's the other one. Yeah, I like that dwarf one. That storm that came through about blew my dwarf one over. I had to cut all its leaves off and then try to put dirt around it. You gotta check out when we go over to Walton Chance, check out the Diane's. It's got a big old clump of bananas. Of wow. It. Well, it's about two and a half years old now. It's already made about so many how many five or six racks. Wow. Um, she has it in that fertile soil. She's got some soil. You think my soil's good? Huh. She's got the best. I'm trying to get to that. I'm trying to get to that level. Keep feeding the. You, so you you can see what kind of water table we're dealing with right here, since the beavers have have, have flooded this area. You know this this used to be pretty high up above the creek years ago, but now it's not. I mean the water's. We're, we're dealing with inches of soil and it's really too wet for these bananas and that's why we are planting on the higher land. Like we planted that other banana, that's why we're Yeah, you can see how much higher it is. Phew. Yeah, because this is... Bananas don't like this low wet. No. They'll get root rot, but this is just the right amount of wetness. When you said a while back you, you had a truckload bring some dirt here? Um, well... 
when they, when they're doing the power line maintenance, I'll open the gate and let the, the trucks dump all the chips off. Yeah. And uh, I just haven't done that in a while. But the, once all those chips drop down, then you're still back in the muck. So we really have to, to continue to plant here, we really have to fill it. Right. And I don't want to start bringing loads and loads of dirt. Yeah. I got acres and acres back there, right? Right. I'm just going to move the bananas. I did like people seeing these big bananas. I'll just leave, I'd leave these few clumps here and then just... I think I might just plant some higher up the hill. Yeah. Just to show you that they'll, they'll yeah. actually grow here in this spot. Let people see it. <laughs> It looks cool. I don't, I don't mind it. I'm just tired of hearing about bananas not growing here. Right. <clears throat> well, this is enough proof. But I, I swear, if, if, if we had all been started with uh, Cardaba instead of Orinoco, right. I think people would grow more of it. A lot more bananas around. Yeah. All the varieties. What's crazy, that's the, the most of the one I have is Orinoco because we got a lot from that lady. Yeah. So I have like a forest of them. Yeah. So Orinoco is still a really it's good. It's still really banana. good for cooking. Yeah. But this is also a cooking type. It's better quality. Much better. I think it's better quality for fresh eating too. Yes. I mean, I love the flavor. It has a different flavor than Orinoco. We'll catch you later. Thank you, John. Oh, yeah. I forgot we were video. <laughs>